Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Aftermath. Two weeks is what separates us from tonight and Legacy 2006, coming up on April the 29th, when it airs on television and WAWWrestling.com. Stay tuned to the website for full details on showtime. But kicking off things this week is the President, Miss Moody Star. so let's take it down to the President. Legacy, two weeks away. Yeah! Lumberyard match. We've got Jacqueline Frost of the Kindred. Oh, oh, oh. We've got Katie Doobie of Total Chaos. Yeah. Major Morpheus Morency. Oh, yeah. Sage. Oh, Shatter. Yeah. And the sky. WWE Team Championships will be defended by the Kindred against their opponents, Asylum. Asylum! And Total Chaos! As you know, that the uh, Todd Sokol's Championship has been reserved for 2006 Lord of the Ring winner, Freakin' Flex! This will be, the winner of this match will be determined in a best out of five series. Yeah. Round one, pinfall. All right. Round two, submission. Yeah. Round three, tables. Yeah. If needed, round four, first blood. Yeah. If we need a tiebreaker, round five, ladders. Yeah. And that's not all. Legacy will also feature Cemetery Gate 7. Yeah. featuring all members of WAW's Hall of Fame, including 2005's inductee Sid, yeah! 2005's inductee Dirty Dealer, Whoa! both of 2003's inductees Sick, yeah! for one night only, Grave Digger. That's at Legacy. Tonight we've got a main event that features Todd Sobel, Staples, <laughs> and Dirty Dealer. <laughs> they will be in a six man <laughs> tag team match facing Mr. Legacy himself, F. And here we go, kicking things off this week on Aftermath, we are going to see a singles contest pitting Rocco of Asylum against Q Chaos of Total Chaos. Rocco and Q will be on opposite sides at Legacy where it will be a three-team elimination match for the WAW Team Championship. It will be the Kindred, Christian Sane and Mr. Psycho defending their tag team, their team titles, excuse me, against the teams of Asylum, Rocco and the Jersey Devil, and Total Chaos, the brothers Kevin and Q. Roll. Tension between Total Chaos and Asylum started a few weeks ago when the Jersey Devil interjected himself into Total Chaos' team title match. And ever since then, Total Chaos has not been pleased with Asylum, but Rocco, he claims to not know anything that's what's going on. The questions of where the Jersey Devil lies, it's up in the air. And tonight we should hopefully find out where the Jersey Devil's alliances lies. He will take on Mr. Psycho here tonight. Let's take it down to the ring here. Rocco's got his hand out. Let's see if these guys have something to say to each other. When your partner did to us, how can I trust you? Well, 
looks like we're gonna see a friendly honor and respect contest here to kick things off this week on Aftermath between Q Chaos and Rocco. After a bit of trading of the words, they did come to the agreement on this, that both of them believe that the Kindred will not be walking out the WAW Team Champions in two weeks at Legacy. Rocco went for an early crossface there, and Q Chaos got himself right out of it. Both men at the standing position go to the lockup in the center of the ring. Q with an arm ringer into a hammerlock. Rocco snap mares, Q over. Q takes the legs out of Rocco, going for that single leg grab. He's got it, but Rocco goes right to the ropes. Smart presence by Rocco, knowing exactly where he was and got himself to those ropes just before Q could cinch on that hole. Rocco wanting a test of strength in the center of the ring. Q coming out, and we've got one hand locked. We've got two hands locked, and we got a test of strength now between Rocco and Q Chaos. Rocco with the upper hand at this time. Q working his way back up to his feet, Rocco's going down, and Q now has the advantage over Rocco. Rocco has Q, he's got him up on the shoulders, but Q gets off. Now Rocco up on the shoulders of Q, Rocco flips over into a sunset flip, but Q rolls out, kicks Rocco in the stomach, going for the Q ball. No, his legs get taken out, and Rocco goes down into a side headlock. Q floats over, we got a pinball attempt here, we get a two count, and Q quickly floats right over into a headlock. Side headlock there by Q. Rocco now takes Q, sets him off the ropes. Off the opposite side, tries for a clothesline. Q ducks, and Q hits a clothesline of his own. Three got a cover, two, and Rocco gets a shoulder up. Rocco swinging, Q catches him, side box. Q ducking that punch attempt there into the side box, and we get another near fall. Rocco gets a shoulder up. Q with three quick pinning attempts right in the early moments of this contest. And Q's old nickname was Mr. Hit, it, hit and Run, Get It Done. Taking that back into account here with three early pin attempts. Rocco now, scoop slam. Q heading into the corner. He's up on the turnbuckles, comes down with a forearm across the front. We got a cover, two, and Rocco once again gets another shoulder up. Q Chaos now, dragging Rocco out to the center of the ring, stomp right on the stomach. That was legal, not in the crotch. Oh, kick right to the spot. Hey, it's about time Q inflicts punishment on somebody else's back. Last few weeks, the poor guy's had his back worked over by everybody. Q with another near fall. That's five near falls thus far in this contest for one half of Total Chaos. Now working over one half of a side over the corner. Had some kicks there, sends Rocco off in the corner, chest first. Here comes Q. Q trying for the pinball, and he gets Russian leg sweep by Rocco instead. Rocco now heading up into the ropes. What is Rocco gonna do here? Double axe handled down on Q, right into a pin. We got a cover, two, and Q kicks out. Both men on their feet, Rocco comes charging. Q gets caught up in the shirt. He's got Rocco up after a boot to the stomach. Could it be the Twista? Yes it is, Twista onto Rocco. Rocco planning face first onto the can canvas. We got a cover, two. And we only get two. Katie Doobie up on the apron. She's arguing the count with the referee. Two and seven. Q coming over. He's telling her it's all right. It was only two. She said it's fine. Get a little hot temper. Oh, Katie Doobie gets smashed out to the floor by Rocco, who was coming after Q. Rocco seeing that it was a mistake, going right over to check on Katie Doobie. Wait a second. Here comes Kevin Chaos, and he is pissed. And he charges right at Rocco. Referee calls for the bell. Q Chaos has been disqualified for this outside interference from Kevin Chaos. Oh, he shoves his brother down again. Oh, drives Rocco face first into the canvas. Hammering away at Rocco. Q and Katie trying to pull Kevin Chaos away. He's been a hotbed of intensity the last couple of weeks. He stuck a thermometer somewhere on that guy. He'd probably get a high temperature reading. Man, it's flaming. He is pissed. Katie Doobie looks to be fine. In fact, she's trying to hold Kevin Chaos back. As they take him backstage, Rocco laid out in the center of the ring. And now our camera's backstage. We got Total Chaos downstairs in the backstage area. Let's see what's going on down there. You go on. I like her. Are you all right? Are you okay? Listen, she's okay, okay? Relax. 
do a match later. You gotta keep your cool. We are not winning the team title. That better not happen again. Listen, we are not winning the team titles. Were you acting like this? Smart enough. She's fine. It was an accident. You cost me the match, but that don't matter. We gotta move on. I'm we got a match later. Go get a heating pad. Go to our lockers. Relax. Calm down. All right. Sure, you don't need anything. I'm fine, Kevin. Okay. Seriously. Kind of funny how he came out pretty pissed off when he got hit. What? I mean, I don't know. Think about it. Are you okay? Okay. Are you okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You know it was an accident, right? Yeah. No. Hey, Rocco. Yeah. Come back. Me too. Let's go find my partner. Where were you? Right here, putting on my makeup, buddy. You don't like to watch the monitors? Well, you know, a funny thing happens when I watch the monitors, Rocco. I usually see you on screen, getting yourself into a little bit of a, um, what's the word for it, predicament. And then, I come out and I try to help you, right? And then, you chastise me, you yell at me, you ostracize me, and frankly, you hurt the devil's feelings. <laughs> oh, I get it. You always like to come out when the kindred are involved. You and Saint hit me in the head with the chair. You and Psycho like to hit me in the chair, huh? In the face? Yeah, I remember that last week. So tonight, you have a match with Mr. Psycho. Tonight, you will prove what side you're on, the kindred or mine. Oh, you're right, Rocco. Tonight, I'm going to prove a lot of things. The questions will get answered. Oh, yeah, they will. The, the smoke for my hellfire will rise and reveal the smoldering remains of a flame. I will take orgasmic pleasure in proving to you exactly where the wicked one stands. Snap.